We're holding a lot these days, eh? We're holding a lot these days. Huh? Uh, so much, so much going on in the world now. Uh, the tectonic plates are shifting beneath us. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. the world is changing. Uh, so many emotions coming forward. Hmm? Uh, anxiety has been there, and some fear. Dread has been making an appearance uh, for many of us. Uh, the, the, the the uncertainty. Eh? The uncertainty. Even what, what we thought might be here for a couple of months, it's now, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the whole next year going to look like? Mm. So much uncertainty, so much suffering. Mm. And so many, uh, so many being suffering and so many others beginning to fray at the edges. You know that expression, like material, that frays at the edges as it starts to wear thin. And lately, even more than fraying at the edges, hmm? violence, Scenes of unimaginable violence. People not just fraying at the edges, but boiling over. How do we hold all of this? How do our hearts hold all of this? Mm. What does the practice of meditation mean at a time like this? How do we not boil over or despair? I think that's some of what the practice is about now. How do we not boil over and not despair, but somehow stay upright in the midst of all of this? How do we let the wild horses of outrage and grief gallop through the landscape of our psyches without feeding them over much, without allowing them to take up residence in our hearts, without allowing them to close our hearts without allowing fear and doubt and distrust to take hold, to take the main seat at the table reserved for compassion and love. I think we're called as never before to stand tall and to not cave Um, to not collapse and to not harden our hearts, to remember who we are and what we stand for in this this world on fire. Yeah. And the practice, well, meditation practice, I never thought of it as a luxury but it's never felt like more of a necessity than, than today. The need to sit still, just to discharge, just to detox some of this a little bit, just to release some of what we're taking on, what we can't help but taking on, some of the contagion of, of these uh, difficult uh, feelings. And how important it is more than ever before, in my experience, the Sangha, Sangha. 
to practice with others. So moving for, for us that you come each morning to practice. We sit here together, we practice together, stay upright together. And to, to, to uphold as best we can you know, the qualities of kindness and warmth and compassion. Mm -hmm. In the midst of all of what's going on, practicing together feels more important these days. And we so bow to all of you who are joining us these mornings to practice together and with us. Yeah.